morning everybody it's Jean here from True Love Quilts for You. I'm in my sewing room this morning and um, just a small tutorial this morning. I, I do realize I have to uh, finish my sashing and my cornerstones for my block party people. I'll be getting to that a little bit later. Um, I'm counting names for the quilt giveaway. I'm typing them up on a on a piece of paper. Oh my word, a lot of a lot of a lot of work, but that's that's fun. It's it's fun. More happiness and giving. If you don't know what that's all about, um, refer back to my last video, folks. I'm giving a quilt away. I am giving a quilt away, full size quilt, and the instructions are in the last video I've just posted. But this is just a little aside. Um, if you've been following me, you know that. As, um, as Jehovah's Witnesses, we don't celebrate the traditional holidays. We don't celebrate Christmas or Easter or anything like that. But we have a tremendous amount of parties and a tremendous amount of gatherings. We celebrate um, um, uh, uh, gender reveals and babies and wedding showers and graduations, uh, um, baby showers, uh, you name it. The opening of an envelope, we'll have a party. <laughs> and... We had a, a wedding shower here a couple weeks ago for a friend of ours. And um, if you had seen a video, I had made um, some bunting, some fabric, some fabric bunting. And Leah's, her name was Leah, her favorite color was green. So what I had done with all my green fabric in the room, I started cutting out bunting uh, fabric to make these, this little bunting, a bunting or pennants or flags, um, just a little touch of whimsy, a little touch of party to attach to. Uh, we put it around a pergola, we put it around our marquee at the tent, uh, around our pool. So what I'm going, what I had done is I had for my Patreon people, um, I had I had done a small tutorial on how to make this, um, and I thought I'm going to do another one. I'm going to do another very quick one for you folks. Now, what I've done, I had made all of this, as I said, I had cut all of this green fabric up. And I made yards and yards and yards and yards of this bunting for this, for this party, for that party, for that shower. And it's, it's festive. And I was thinking, you don't really need to have it. Oh, here, there's a whole bunch here. You don't really need to have it, um like even outdoors um you could have it on over a headboard you can have this little uh party thing indoors um just to add a bit of festive touch over a dining room table just and it takes literally a few minutes now what that was that one that was my green that i had made and uh, we have another party coming up and i had been asked if i could make some just plain white bunting which I have started and I'll show you this is oh this bunting was made with green fabric and if you notice this I had used a leftover and then I had to make some fresh but I'd used a leftover green and white striped quilt binding now I'm going to show you how I um, I'm going to use the bias binding that I purchased but I had used it's the same principle this leftover binding you know how sometimes, well, me, I don't measure the size of my binding. I just do a bunch of, you know, two and a quarter inch strips, sew them together and have some left over. I had this green and white left over binding. I think some of you might. And, you know, it's a good way to use up that leftover binding. Now, you will notice that this bunting here, this flag, that's a little bit wrinkled. They were, they were just stuck. Oh, where's again? Yeah. Um, they were just stuck together. This bad bunting here, I put right next to each other. I put it right next to each other. So there is a lot of little flags there. The cream bunting I'm making for a party coming up, what I've done, I've, I've just started this one. So I'm, I'm going to show you how I, I put it on to this, this binding here. I have made it a little bit, um, I've made this a little bit wider. As you can see, I, I, I kept a space between, about two inches between each one of the little flags there. So you don't need as many, but you still get that pretty effect. This is going to go outside. Um, you know, you can put them, as again, again, indoors, outdoors. This is a wonderful way to use novelty fabrics or seasonal fabrics. And if you, you people who um, celebrate the different holidays, 
they're a beautiful seasonal fabrics you can put get them out get them out now what I like about the way I make these is they're not cheesy they're not like a hunk of fabric just cut and maybe hemmed or even raw edge and stuck on a rope they're actually fairly substantial um, that you could be you could get out um, you know uh, you know every year because they're not cheesy I'm making them very well and I'm going to I'm going to demonstrate exactly how I'm making them I'm going to be making a whole bunch of these white ones so what you need to start out so so simple what you need to what you need to start out if you want to make um I think about eight uh I think about 18 of these of these pennants make up about a 15 foot length it's a lot it's long it's long so I would you know nine of them will make up a, I don't know an eight foot length or something like that once you start making them you'll be hooked though so for this application I am using a packaged as you know I like my packaged extra wide bias tape double fold bias tape um, th that's what I'm using but as I said I had used leftover quilt binding but it's the same principle so this is how this is what it's going to be now as you can see I leave and I just I don't I don't extend this way way out for feet to tie I just leave it maybe that's even long I'll even just leave it at maybe two or th four three or four inches and then I've tied either a string or some twine and then you can make it if you're going to do it from a tree you that 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 saves on the actual binding you could just use string to get your length from tree to tree or post to post so I just I'm concentrating more on making the the, the um, flags here so what we need are 10 inch squares that's it and a pack of binding that is it I have already started I've made those and I've already started the 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 um the, this whole pile here that I have sewn it is one seam one seam to make a double a double sided completely finished beautiful little flag what you do is you take a 10 inch square and you fold it just into the diagonal like that you just fold it there so that seam you're going to be sewing it right sides together pretty sides together point to point and then you're going to sew that seam down with a quarter of an inch and then right off now this is a wonderful way you've cut all of your 10 inch squares this is a wonderful way to chain piece just lift up that presser foot and chain piece so once you cut your 10 inch squares if you're just going to use eight 10 inch squares or you're doing 80 10 inch squares once you've cut your squares you cut you can chain piece them and cut them apart just like that now the next thing so I have this whole pile done exactly that way there is my seam so now where is it what I'm going to do well I have it somewhere <laughs> there's a I have a, a, a pointer oh here well here's one um, this isn't this is yeah here's a chopstick what I'm going to do now is I'm going to put my finger in I'm turning it inside out that's it turning that inside out like that I do have my iron behind me now very carefully with that with that pointy I have a, an actual pointer it's really quite nice more flat rather than a chopstick but whatever you choose to use go you choose to use <laughs> go right up to the point right there turning it inside out and you end up with this all right and look you can start to see a oh, pointy little pennant so now my seam I'm going to go over to the ironing board uh, my seam is right in the middle okay my seam is right in the middle you can eyeball it right in the middle and then with this extra flap right here you're going to tuck that in you're just going to tuck that in and there the seams on the back there is a little pennant just like that there is a little 
two-sided with a seam down the back of middle, there's a little flag. One raw edge, one rolled tucked edge, okay? I, okay, that, I, I'm, I'm thinking that's, that's ironed right now. I'll iron it, but just for, I just want to show you because I've started this right now. Now with the, um, I'll just put, put this on, this pendant on. What I have done is with the, with the um, bias binding, as you know, there's two sides. Uh, I, got, I got something in my mouth. <laughs> there's two sides to a bias binding. There's a narrower side and there's a thicker side. So with the thicker, the wider side down and the thinner side up, what you want to do is you want to place it on your machine and then you're going to take with the, with the seamed edge up, you're going to have them all, you know, it's, you can't, I mean, you can't really tell. They're, they're double-sided. But I've, that one doesn't have the seams. This side has the seams. So with the seam side up here, I'm just going to slot that right in. I'm going to just slot that right into my, my binding. Put the edge right up at the top, up, right in the center of that binding, about two inches away. Now, by all means, if you wanted to pin this, you can. But I, I just, I will pin it and show you. I don't pin this. I don't, I, I find it very easy. I've just slotted that right in. In fact, it's probably a, more of a pain to pin because it goes right up to the top there, having the, all the, the, um, the sides all lovely and ironed and everything. But there you go. So I've pinned it. I think it's more cumbersome to pin it. You know me, I don't do pins, and a lot of people do, but or use those um, those clips. Maybe that'll be easier, because it's a little bit cumbersome. But there you go. There's our little, another pennant, a couple inches away, or you could do it right next to each other if you wish. And then I'm going to lay that down, and I, I had finished sewing from that pennant, so I'm going to just close up this little um, gap, just along the edge, and then... I'm going to just enclose, just sewing it on the, the um, edge. I, I know because of the way the bias tape has been folded, I know that I'm catching the end, the, uh, the other side. And um, I just do a little back stitch on the edge of each little um, flag. And then I will continue, I will continue just adding, there's that, there's that one right there. I will just continue adding my pennants right along, however long I do my little bias tape for. That's that side. Again, I haven't ironed that, but there's the back side of it with the seam down the middle. It's completely done. It's, it's, it's fairly substantial. They've been stitched on lovely. Um, yeah, and that's our little pennant. That's my little tutorial for the day. Um, I have to make quite a lot of this quite a few of these um, for our next party coming up and the end of August and um, yeah so um, but it's a I just wanted to share that with you even though I shared it with my patron people I thought you know it's it's a nice little way to just have a, a touch a, just this little touch of whimsy a little touch of party so I hope you love that make some 10 inch squares grab some 10 inch squares and a pack of tape or a couple packs of tape, you can join the tape together. If you want to do a long one, you could just have maybe four or five over a little buffet table if you're having a party, um, or over your dining room table, coming out from, say, a chandelier to the edge of the, the um, ceiling. We've done that before. Um, it just is an instant party. 10-inch squares and a pack of tape. So I hope you love this, folks. And again, check my video, like, comment, like, comment, share, oh, and subscribe um, if you want to win my quilt, which I'm, I'm, my, I'm getting subscribers every day. Um, I will probably do, be doing a drawing um, when I hit 21,000 or around there. I'll do it when I do it. So, um, yeah, so keep following along. And again, thank you so much. And have a lovely day. Instant party. See you later, folks. Bye.